Hola, yogis. Welcome to today's Doga flow with me. Today I'm going to do a Doga, a Yoga Doga. <laughs> that is very lazy. That is very restorative as well. We will have, we will do the entire flow, either laying or sitting on our mat. We won't even be standing up. And it's also very um, suitable for the scenarios, for example, before bed in the evening. Right now it's my uh, late afternoon. However, the sun still shines. I feel like a chilling, restorative flow just for my peaceful Sunday afternoon. And you know, like later I'm going to just totally chill and relax. And before I start another busy and hectic week. So with all, with all that being said, I welcome you joining me and my babies. They're over there in the sun. Very restorative as well. <laughs> I welcome to join us. So I'll see you laying down on our back on our mat. I'll see you there. Find yourself laying down on your mat. Very peaceful. <laughs> Place the hands on top of your belly just to have a gentle massage around your belly. You can move your hands in the circulation movement and move it up to your heart, to your shoulders, and hug yourself on the arms. And finally, touch your face with your hands, with your the tips of your fingers very softly and finally touching your hair a little bit of massaging in your hair this is our beloved body that carries us around the earth fulfilling our purposes stretching your arms all the way in front uh, all the way I mean outstretched and in the meantime, also feel like somebody's been pulling your toes to the back of our mat. So we have this one long line of energy. It's also a big stretch of the body. And bring the hands back to the side of our hips. So here we're going to do a feel chain to the chest. Tuck the chin into the chest motion, like to just elongate the back of our mat, of our neck. Sorry. <laughs> Take a big inhale, exhale, curl your chin into your chest, just to lift your head off the mat. Feel the stretch of the back of the neck, and inhale back down. <sighs> Big inhale in, we'll do four times like this. Exhale, curl. And if you feel like a little extra tension, stretch. So interlace the hands behind our head just to press in with your elbows, like directing with your elbows. And tap your chin even more into your chest. Inhale, open. The elbows to the side and exhale in. Two more times. Go on, last time. Stay curled with the neck and we'll just bring the knees into the chest and hold, wrap your arms around the knees. Just hold yourself like a bow. 
tuck everything in, and release. Back to the mat, and keep the right knee into the chest. Extend the left knee out, <coughs> pressing the right knee a little deeper into the chest. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen the right leg and pointing the toes towards the sky. Hold at the back of our uh, knee with the hand just for some support and rotate your uh, ankles a little bit of clockwise direction, a little bit anti clockwise direction. And finally, kick the heel out towards the sky. Feel the lengthening of the hamstring and bring the right knee closer to the floor or to your armpit and reach your right hand outside of your right foot. Half happy baby. And just kick the foot into your right hand, pull your right hand into the foot, press it down. So big hip opening on the right side and release or we'll change sides bring the left knee into our chest hold it tight <sighs> Keep the lower back on the mat, lengthening by lengthening your tailbones and tuck your pubic bones in. Straighten the left knee, pointing the left toes. Oh. And ankle rotation. Kick the heel into the sky, feel the lengthening of the left hamstring. And bring the left knee towards the floor. Try to hold the left outside of the foot with your left hand, half the baby. And in the meantime, keep your right sit bone grounded into the mat. Don't uh, turn yourself into the left. Just your hips are still square, just Pushing your left knee into the armpit. And release. This is Pablito. <laughs> Papa. And bring both knees in one more time. Just sway side to side. Have a little lower back massage on the floor. And we'll do a full happy baby with both. Feet, kick the feet into the hands and press the hands into the feet. Enjoying this moment of the hip opening. And now we place our feet down, hip distance parallel to the mat. And Place the right ankle on top of the left knee and press our right knee away from our body with the right hand. Open up through the right hip. If you want to intensify this stretch, you can bring the left knee closer to the chest while maintaining the right knee flare out. Hold the right the left knee into the chest. Flex the right toes. And now gently come down, bring the left foot down, maintaining the structure of the uh, of the legs and bring them all the way towards the left. Your right arm out in a out extended out to the right side and both of your legs moving towards the left. Come into a spinal twist. 
still pressing away your right knee from your body. Keep your eyes closed or gaze towards the right side. Deep inhales and exhales. And we'll come back to center. And we'll change sides. Place the right foot down and place the left ankle on top of the right knee. Flare the knee out. Try to intensify this stretch. I am going to bring my right knee into my chest. Flex the left toes. Keep my eyes closed. Feeling very relaxed. Bring the right foot down. Left hand, arm extend all the way to the left side like a T. And bring the legs all the way to the right. Gaze towards the left side. I'm gazing Pablito. He's hot again. He's super hot. Feeling super hot. Le siente mucho calor. Porque it is um, negro. <laughs> And come back to center. Now bring both knees into the chest. We'll just roll, rock and roll the length of our spine until we are coming into a dandasana staff pose. Just a few rounds, rock and back and forth. Till we coming into a sitting staff pose. Where is the other one? <laughs> She's going in the house. Now it's only Paplito and me. Sit yourself, adjust yourself to sit on top of your sit bones and your upper body perpendicular to the floor to your legs. It's like an L. Lower back super straight. Mm. Inhale, lift arms up. Exhale, we'll come into a side bend. Place the right hand down and we'll come to the side bend to the left. While maintaining your legs in the Dandasana pose, stretch deeper. Inhale, open your chest a little bit more. And exhale, try to reach your left fingertips all the way towards the right front corner of your mat. Doesn't have to reach, but it's like going in that direction. Then you will have an entire side stretch on your left side of your back. From lower back to upper back. Curl your chain into the chest one more time. And inhale, open up to side bend. Inhale, lift back to center. We'll come to the other side. Place the left hand down. Side stretch to the right. Inhale, open yourself a little bit towards the sky. And exhale, reach the left corner of the mat. Rich, rich, rich. Still grounding your sit bones into the floor. And inhale. Open up to the side bend. Exhale here. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward, forward. And just Hinge at the hips. Make sure your lower back is not hinged or curled. If you cannot go forward more, just stay wherever you feel that's the edge. In this pose, you feel like your chest, your heart is being pulled, like a string is pulled.
put forward, not downwards. Instead of downwards, it's put forward so that you feel like your sit bones still grounded on the floor and your hamstrings are ill, uh, are lengthened. And then your whole upper body is folding towards your side. But it's like up, up Foot facing, you know, like it's a upward facing of your chest and your upper body. Gently sit yourself up. We'll just bring the legs in into a easy sit pose. Bring the hands behind our hips, fingertips pointing towards the front of our mat. A little wrist stretch. Bring yourself, lean yourself back and bring your elbows in and just try to press through the heels of your palm into the mat and lift your chest up. Hip, push the hips forward. Head can be tilted backward or you keep your gaze forward. Feel also a little bit of heart opening in this wrist stretch. You can even try to lift your hips off the floor. I'm gonna try. Wow, it's a very big opening. Feels so good on my hips. And sit yourself down gently. Push yourself back to center. I'm gonna face you so that you can see me better. We'll do a neck stretch. Big inhale here and exhale. Inhale, exhale, bring the right knee towards the right shoulder. Left, stretch on the left side of the neck. You want to intensify this stretch by placing your right hand on top of your left ear. Just a little bit of there, you know, like behind the ear area. Then you press the head towards the right even more and explore with your right, with your left finger, fingers, like exploring something like you try to get your phone or TV remote, just moving with the fingertips back and front. Side to side and find the juicy sweet spot and stay there. So that's the sweet spot I find through exploring with my left fingers. And let's we'll just stay there. You can also bring the chain into the chest. So we stretch on the back of our neck, the left side. I really love this neck stretch. I am doing this daily, you know, like, feel like my neck will never get enough of these stretches. And our head is actually heavy, you know, so around the shoulder and neck area, we actually have a lot of tension and stress there. And Inhale, come back to center. Feel the difference of the each side, you know, left versus right. Now we'll go into the other side. Bring the left ear towards the left shoulder. Explore through your right fingertips. Look for something. Look for something. If you find it, stay there. If you're not, you can even lift your hands up. Push through the end of your palm oh. and intensify the feeling just pressing your left hand with your left hand pressing your head towards the left even more wow it's so good and the tuck the chin to the chest feel the difference Oh my god, my back side of the neck always oh, is so sore. It's so freaking sore. I love it.
big inhale, come back to center. Now, how do you feel? A little bit of shrug the shoulders. Release any tension created by this long static stretch. And now we'll lift our arms one more time. Inhale, and we'll twist towards the left. Place your right hand on top of your left knee. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, come back to center, and now we'll straddle the legs out and open towards the side. Toes pointing upwards to the sky. Just your sit. Make sure both of your sit bones are grounded on the mat. Okay. So from here, we'll just do a little side stretch again. Towards the left, towards the right. So good, you know. In the meantime, you keep your legs open. Inhale, sit up and tall. You can even lift your arms if you want. And come to the left side, stretching on the right, maintaining your body to face front, not face down. So it's a side stretch. Come down even on your left elbow if your body permits. And just reach your right fingers all the way towards the left side of the room. Reach, reach, reach! It's like somebody's pulling you. Open your chest. Don't ground yourself. We will go to that point later. And a very big inhale. Exhale. Reach your right hand towards your left toes, and we'll round. And ground. Place your forehead to rest on top of your knee, your shin bone. <sighs> Very grounding. And lift yourself up. We'll come to the other side. Take a big inhale. Exhale. We'll move to the right side, pointing your right, your left hand all the way towards the right side of the room. Keep the chest open and reach, reach, reach. Come onto the right elbow if you can. Wow, a big inhale and ground and round. Tuck the chin in and place the forehead on top of the shin bone. And sit back. Up. We'll do the upward facing movement of the chest、um, again. You know, it's like what it's like when we did in the forward fold. Always remember when you forward, when you fold forward in a seated position, you don't round your back, and your chest don't face the floor. You always imagine like somebody's pulling your heart. Forward, so that you don't go down. You are actually going forward, and your lower body is maintained at the same spot, so that you feel the entire stretch on the back of the lower body. Okay, take a big inhale. Exhale. Actually, we are going to place our hands back、um, behind our hip, just for a little bit of heart opener before we go forward. Take a big inhale and. Pointing the fingers backwards, not facing front frontwards, but backwards, and just for support, and lean back, open your chest up, and tilt your head backwards, open the throat towards the sky.
and come to face forward and up with upward facing gently go forward 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 with your chest and reach your fingers towards the toes just feel you know like just reach while maintaining the upward facing body And we we'll continue exploring forward by moving our hands, crawling our hands all the way in front of us until our heart can no longer go forward and we'll just rest our body there. Make your forearms like a pillow so that you can rest your forehead on top of your forearms mm. come to lift yourself up and we'll just bring the soles of our feet together Butterfly pose. Sit a little bit tall and shake your legs like a butterfly. Release the tensions from the stretch, from the daily activities. Mm. And come to lay yourself down. If you have a block, it would be really good if you have a block here um, actually I'm going to take my block <laughs> I'm back with my block and my Nina. <laughs> she's also back oh long time no see her in my videos all right now we are going to lay down and now we're back again and the yoga block is really good Okay, so we'll place it on our sides just for later and place the feet hip distance wise just close to our glutes and hand rested on the side of the glute. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift your hips upwards towards the sky and rest on your shoulders and your head and very strong. Keep the knees in. And you can even bring your arm for arms out extended behind your head. Bridge pose. And we'll just do it like four times. Inhale here, exhale, bring the hips down. Inhale, exhale, lift the hips up, open the arms out. Inhale, bring it back and exhale, lift up. Inhale, bring it down, exhale, a little bit faster. And inhale, last time, exhale, extend it out. Lift the hips up and bring the yoga block. Now, this time, keep the hips lifted, bring whichever side. You can, you know, just to elevate your hips and put it just underneath your sacrum just to keep the hips elevated, you know, for a better opening. And extend your legs out, pointing the toes. I just feel something there. It's my dog. <laughs> and extend your arms. In front of your head whatever in front or behind just like one long line like how we started this flow we're going to have it at the end of our flow with the hips even more elevated because what we want a little more hip opening and heart opening <sighs> mm. 
you always keep the sense that your hips are elevated so that you don't dump your body weight into the yoga block. It's also a sense to protect your lower back. And bring the feet in. Lift your hips a little more. Take the block out. And now you can rest yourself completely. Open your legs. Extend them out behind you. I cannot. There is the pablito. And bring the hands, palms up next to your body. Very relaxed. Close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat. Oh. This is our last pose, Shavasana. You can pause the video to continue staying in Shavasana or get up and start doing whatever you were doing. And I will be staying here for a little longer, maybe even a nap. If you had this flow in the evening or in the night, it would be great that you go to sleep afterwards. It would be very beneficial for your sleep. And I hope you have a great, great rest. Thank you so much for being with us today, having this flow with us as usual. And I'll see you in my next flow. Namaste.